PowerPoint has a great feature where you can record your screen. This is really useful if you want to show someone how to do something without remoting onto their PC. First, open PowerPoint. To access this feature, you'll need to go into the Insert tab. And in your media section, you'll see the option for screen recording. You'll notice that there is also video and audio next to it. By clicking either of these, you'll be able to insert either an audio file or a video file into your PowerPoint. Screen recording works on the same concept. Once you've finished recording your screen, it will insert into your PowerPoint presentation. It's important to note that you can actually record outside of PowerPoint. So if you need to screen record another program, then this feature would work perfectly for you. Once you click screen recording, you'll notice that the screen recording icons appear at the top of your screen. So the first thing you want to do is select the area by pressing the select area button. As you can see, your screen will be greyed out. You need to click and drag to select the area you want to record. Before you click the record button, pull up the program or website that you want to record. Then press record. It will count you down before it starts recording. At any point during the screen recording, you can put your cursor at the top of the screen to see these options again. We'll just quickly run through what each of the buttons do. You have the option to pause the recording, stop it, or turn off or on the audio. However, you can only record audio if you have audio capabilities on your PC or laptop. You can even change whether you want the cursor or pointer included in the screen recording. I now want to stop my screen recording, so I'll press the stop button here. As soon as you've done this, it will place the screen recording into PowerPoint for you. If you want to keep it within this presentation, then you can just change the size and place it in the correct place. But if you want to save it in a different location on your PC, simply right click and select Save Media As. Choose the location and press save. We hope you found this useful. For more videos like this, head over to our website and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.